Hey, how's it going again, everybody? Welcome back to the channel. Hey, I was uh, digging around through my stash of hardware looking for something to make a video on, and uh, I, I uh, saw my uh, Mac G4 just sitting over in the corner looking all lonely, and I thought, you know what, let's take a little trip down memory lane and uh, have a look at this machine. So yeah, here's the machine in all its glory. Um, I believe the uh, mirror drive door or MDD models were released in something like 2002. Uh, they went up to uh, as high as a uh, dual 1.25 gigahertz CPU. And as a matter of fact, and sadly, this machine used to be a dual CPU um, 1.25 gigahertz. Unfortunately, something, as you can see, it it's this... This part here didn't actually happen in the computer, but this died, unfortunately. Uh, this was a couple of years ago now. I, I was just messing around with this machine, and I and then I uh, went for supper and then kind of forgot about it. And when I came back down into my uh, computer room the next day, it was completely dead. So um, I did go to eBay. The, the CPU card sits underneath this big heat sink there. I went to eBay, and I bought a dual CPU uh, 867 because it was actually all I could find at the time, but whatever, it's fine. As you can see, this machine here, that the whole side folds down, gives you complete access to the motherboard. It's actually quite nice. Um, this We've got a Radeon uh, 9000 uh, video card. I think it's two and a half gigs of RAM, which is pretty decent. And of course, the uh, dual CPU 867. And um, I'm going to... Uh, I'm going to try and install on an SSD with one of these SATA to IDE converters. I'm not entirely sure if, if that'll work. Uh, I mean, it works with other OSs, and but I, I do have a couple of machines that are kind of finicky and, they, and that doesn't like that. So I'm going to try it in here and just see what happens. And then I don't have to mess around with, with uh, slapping a IDE drive in there. And also, there's supposed to be a drive cage here. I took it out years ago. I know I still own it, but heck if I know where it went. So yeah, I'll just slap this uh, the solid state in there and just let's just see if the system recognizes it. But yeah, without further ado, let's uh, let's get some of that hardware in there and get this thing booted. Um, I haven't touched a uh, G4 Power Mac in a long time, and uh, I'm gonna put its I'm gonna put its uh, uh, newest OS that it'll support, which is uh, which is just Leopard, Mac OS Leopard. Uh, I can't remember what build number that is. 10.6.8, maybe something like that. I don't know. I'll, I'll put it on the screen if I'm wrong. But uh, yeah, let's just uh, get this thing up and running. All right. Uh, okay, let's get going here. Uh, I did, I put a, uh, a, a USB dock because uh, <clears throat> this only actually has two USB ports and the peripherals are USB. So there's no possible way to have my installer uh usb installer uh which i made off camera by the way uh so yeah we need to have a uh usb dock because it's just not enough ports so i've got the uh solid state in there and let's plug this uh bad boy in power this thing up There's that awesome Mac boing noise. I'm kind of sad about my uh, dual G my dual CPU, the 1.25. Yeah, she's de she's dead. I I actually did uh, how I burnt this is I stuck it in a toaster oven and then I kind of forgot about it. <laughs> so whoops. Also, I had it way too high up in the toaster oven and the the infrared elements or whatever cooked it. So I made sure it was fully dead after that. Hey, there's a good um, there's a good sign. We've got a Mac, uh, well, Happy Mac or whatever, whatever you want to call it, the boot screen. Yeah, I originally owned a uh, and still still own a uh, the blue and white G3, and uh, I was I was actually using that as a as my main computer back in the day, but it ended up getting kind of slow. And then uh, I found um, I found this G4 uh, as a replacement. This is years ago. But uh, I, I just found this eBay sale and it was like unbelievably cheap. And I ended, I ended up snapping it up. 
and I, I used this for a little bit, but uh, I, I ended up moving back to PCs, built myself a nice little PC. Well, you can really see the, uh, those uh, are definitely mirror doors, aren't they? So I'm kind of curious once the OS is installed, if that, if that solid state is uh, supported or the adapter or whatever, um, I'm going to see if there's like a modern web browser for this. And let's just do a couple of things. Like, can we play, you know, YouTube videos and um, maybe some other things? We'll have a look once it's up and running. I'm not sure if the mic is picking it up, but uh, it's not a quiet machine. The, the fans are quite loud. All right. Here we go. Let's... Uh, See if that hard drive is actually detected. <clears throat> uh, okay, so we're going to have to go to disk utilities, guaranteed. And survey says... Aha, okay. Excellent. It sees it. That's a good sign. Uh, I had the Linux system on here before, so let's... Um, well, let's erase it. I went to my wife's office and stole her keyboard. So if I don't put that back, my ass is grass. Okay. I don't actually have a Mac keyboard of my own anymore. So let's erase this Mac OS uh, extended journal. Sure, that seems right. And erase. And erase. As a matter of fact, I stole her dock too. So <laughs> it's what I do. And then I normally forget to put that stuff back and then I'm in trouble. Okay, so this is done. We can quit the disk utility. Go back to the installer. Sure. Uh, doesn't like this. You cannot install. Uh, repartition is Apple partition now. Did I not do that? Hold on. Utilities. Disk utility. Erase. Okay, it doesn't give me any... It doesn't give me any option. Erase. Uh... How do we choose Apple Partition Map? Oh, I'm going to have to. <clears throat> yeah, okay. This was in a UEFI system, UEFI system and it's, it's actually um, uh, probably still a UEFI driver or GPT drive. Uh, and I, I think just erasing it here didn't actually do anything. Okay, give me a few minutes. I'm going to. Well, for you guys, it'll be seconds. I'm going to rip this drive out, connect it to a to an external connector on my PC, and then just wipe this thing completely. I bet you that's the issue. Uh, I will be right back. Okay, we're back. Uh, that disk was definitely a uh, GPT disk, so I cleaned it in Windows <clears throat> and just put a FAT32 partition on it. So let's have a look, see if we can't get an option to format this thing correctly. So disk utility. All right, there's the uh, SSD. So let's erase. Although it still isn't giving me uh I thought there was supposed to be another thing down here where you could choose your file system. Oh, whatever. Let's erase it and see what happens. Uh, oh, hold on. What the heck happened here? Let's just call it Mac, Mac HD Erase Erase.
Um, oh, I see. I, I'm a bit rusty. I, I forgot. This is a, I don't know if you would call it like a logical volume or whatever. It, this is the actual hardware. This is the, this is the partition, I guess. And it is OS extended journal. Okay. I don't know. Let's see what happens here. I haven't, I haven't touched this stuff for a while, so I'm a bit rusty. All right, let's go to continue. Agree. What? Apple partition map. Repartition. So hold on. Do I have to just go to disk utility? I'm going to leave all this in the video, too, because I'm sure somebody else runs into the same problem. Let's go to partition one. Oh, wait, I think I'm starting to remember this now. Uh, and then it would be under options. Yes, yes, yes. Oh, my goodness. I didn't have to take this drive out and put it on my computer. I remember now. Okay, so that's good. And we just call this uh, again, Mac HD and then apply. Okay. It's amazing what you forget after a while. Okay. All right. So uh, we can quit the disk utility and we can just go. What's going on now? Apple partition map. Yeah, it's good. So disk utility quit. Why do I not have a continue button? Continue. Agree. Oh, I guess it was just flaky. Okay. All right. So here we go. Click continue and install. And now we wait. All right. Rather than uh, filling up my memory card full of a useless installation, I'll just pause the video. I'll bring you back when it's done. Right, I forgot about the opening video on the earlier versions of Mac 10. Yeah, they don't do that no more. I thought this was so cool when I first saw it. Okay. All right, let's get this uh, setup information put in. I haven't seen Leopard for um, for years. OS 10 sure looks a lot different now. <clears throat> okay, so about this Mac, let's have a look. We have a dual 867 power PC G4 with 1.5. 1. 1. I thought I had 2.5. Okay, whatever. 1.5 gigabytes of RAM. It seems like such a little amount of RAM compared to what we're used to nowadays. And let's have a look at the graphics card. Uh, we have a... Uh, it doesn't specifically say, yes, it does right here. Radeon 9000 Pro. It's the uh, RV250 64 meg card. Sweet. All right. I'm going to get a web browser installed on here because um, I highly, well, I don't have an Ethernet cable hooked up. So this is kind of a moot point. I'll hook an Ethernet cable up and then I will, uh, I'm going to, download i'm going to install a web browser that's literally called interweb um i believe it's uh based on uh firefox but as far as i as far as i know it's still modern enough to uh be able to browse the modern web youtube whatever so uh yeah i'll see you in a few seconds okay so i have uh I have a network connection. I've got a valid IP lease. I've installed uh, that program called uh, Interweb. 
So let's go and fire this sucker up. I'm not expecting miracles here. Let's just go to Google first. Okay, so Google loads. That's good. Uh, let's let's do something hilarious like YouTube. I, I, I'm thinking that's uh, going to be quite funny. Well, it's loading. I wouldn't call it uh, speedy by any means. We've gotten a lot further than I thought we were going to get. Um, I don't know. Let's just let's just play some random video just to see what happens here. <laughs> that that click registered like thirty seconds after I clicked the mouse. Uh, I can hear the uh, CPU fan throttling up. This here's Bob Hall. He's the creator of the Miata and the cult following that you all love. Uh -huh. We're gonna force him to react to the Miatas of TikTok. My name is Jimmy. Let's turn that down. So yeah, can hear audio, obviously, but uh, that doesn't look like it's playing too good there, Bob. <laughs> we got it, even the loading thing that should be a circle. <laughs> it's not even. <laughs> It can't even keep up with that. So, yeah, I would say uh, YouTube on a uh, PowerPC G4 from 2002 is uh, not doable. I, I don't know if I if I had that uh, dual 1.25 gigahertz, if that would have actually made any difference. I'm not I'm not entirely sure. But uh, I mean, this is only a, a 867 megahertz uh dual CPU, but even still, that's um, not playing. I don't even hear the audio anymore. Yeah, there's no, there's no audio. Oh, there we go. So yeah, that's a big fail. YouTube will not play on this. Interesting. If you ever want them out, I can tell you where to get them. All right. So <laughs> Jimmy's got some... Okay, now that we know that uh, YouTube's a bust, let me uh, let, let me get a game installed here. All right, I couldn't find CD one from my <clears throat> Medal of Honor Allied Assault War Chest box. I kind of remember having it out a long time ago. Obviously, I didn't freaking put it back, but anyway, I do have, also have the Wolfenstein Return to Castle Wolfenstein. Let's try this. I can't remember how well this played on my uh, G3, but uh, let's have a look. I mean, so far, so good, right? I don't know if, you, if anybody who's watching has played this game before, but it was actually really, really good. You can also get it for PC as well. Let's just get into the game. All right. Yeah, this is playing like I remember. Uh, the mouse sensitivity is a little wonky. Yeah, this is actually playing really nice. <laughs> Oops, my mouse hit the keyboard. <laughs> yeah, 
Yeah, this is playing really nice, actually. Yeah, the mouse uh, sensitivity is all messed up, though. I keep, I have to move it for <clears throat> a crazy amount just to have anything happen on screen. Ah, there we go. Um, this little 867 megahertz machine is doing actually quite nice. Um, the Radeon Pro is actually, you know, for its time, wasn't a slouch. Uh, oh, this mouse sensitivity, though, is killing me. Yeah, that's right. Uh oh. <laughs> anyway, there you go. A computer from 2002. So, what is that? 22 years old. Um, 867 megahertz, 1.5 gigs of RAM, playing uh, what was an excellent game at the time, Return to Castle Wolfenstein. I wish I could have found my uh, disc one of my Medal of Honor Allied Assault. I think I'm going to end the video here. Um, this is a fantastic looking machine. I've always liked this style. Um, I, when I upgraded from my um, G3 blue and white to this, uh, I actually had a, a Quicksilver before this, but uh, which was just sort of the, the uh, Power Mac that was in between these two. That, that one actually died really fast and i didn't didn't really own it very long so i bought this uh g4 mdd model and i really enjoyed it when i was using it as my daily driver it's just a great looking machine uh but i think in a future video i'm going to try another os that's that's uh different from mac os and uh i'm gonna it's it's more uh, a retro oriented this OS. I'll just leave it at that. But uh, if you've had uh, experience with these machines or you've played this game or whatever, you know, comment in the, in the, uh, in the comments down below. I want to hear your thoughts. And uh, until next time, don't forget to uh, like and subscribe. Yeah, we'll see you in the next one.